Alright guys, I hope that you're ready to learn about functions because, oh uh, well, that's what I'm going to teach you in this video. So, if you're not, well, it sucks for you. But, anyways, what the heck is a function? Well, whenever we make a big computer program that's more than like, uh, you know, these small little samples that we've been making, it's good to break your program up into manageable chunks. Now, these chunks are called functions. All right, so it helps organize our program a little bit better. Pretty cool. Now, another cool thing about a function is what we can do is we can write a certain bit of code and put it inside a function, and then we can use it over and over again whenever we want and however many times we want really easily. So I'll show you guys how to make a, a really simple function right now. Whenever you make a function for the first time, write DEF. This pretty much means you're defining a function or creating a function. Now after this, you have to give your function a name just like a variable name. And you can name it anything you want. I'll name it beef because why the heck not? Just to show you guys that it doesn't have to be anything special. Now after the name, add parentheses and I'll talk to you guys about um, what you can use it for later on. But for now, we'll just put two empty parentheses and the last thing for your definition is a colon. Now after this colon hit enter and any line of code that goes in here is going to be part of your function. So any line of code that's inside your function whenever you use it later on this is the part that executes. So we'll make this a very simple function print something out and we'll just write Damn, functions are cool. Alright, so this is a pretty useless function. Again, this is just a function called beef, and the only job of it is to print something out on the screen. So if you run this right now, okay, nothing printed out. That's interesting. And the reason for that is this even though we made a function right now, we didn't tell Python, hey, we actually want to use this function. So whenever you want to actually use a function that you created, what you do is you type the name of your function and then those two little parentheses after. So now, when it gets to this line, it says, okay, use a function called beef. So then it looks for a function called beef, which is this, and it does whatever is inside it. So run it and check it out. And like I said before, the cool thing about these is you can use them over and over and over again as many times as you want. So this will call the function. And whenever I say call a function, that's just what um, use a function means. Just a technical stupid programmer talk. Calling a function means using a function. So I'm calling beef three times. Simple enough. So now let me show you an actual useful function and I also want to talk about what these parentheses are right here. So we'll make a new function so underneath it, give myself a little bit of space, write a new function of course def and I'll just write like a bitcoin to usd. So what this function is going to do is it's going to take a bitcoin amount and convert it to US dollars. So if you're curious about like how many Bitcoin, um, like how much one Bitcoin's worth, this function can do that for you. So inside these parentheses right here, whenever your function needs extra information, this is where it goes. So of course, in order to calculate or convert Bitcoin to US dollars, it needs the value of Bitcoin. Do you want to convert one Bitcoin? Do you want to convert 10? Well, it needs some extra information. So we're going to throw it in as a variable and that variable is going to be called BTC. So now what we need to do is just make um, the formula. So we will store the answer in amount and we'll say the amount or the US dollar amount it's equal to is however many Bitcoins multiplied by 527. So again, one Bitcoin would be 527 US dollars, so on and so forth. So I guess we can just print this out. So print amount. So again, in order to use this function, 
what we do is actually let me call B first so I have something when I post my source code on the forum so this line is gonna call this function now this line is let's say we want to convert like um we want to see how many dollars 3.85 bitcoins is so let me run this and check it out this is the result of this line and this is the result of this so basically what we did is we called the function and whenever we wrote 3.85 in here it pretty much took this value set it equal to the variable BTC and anywhere in the function that was BTC, ugh, BTC was actually 3.85 so it took 3.85 multiplied it by 527 and gave us the amount and then if you want to say okay well what is it for just one Bitcoin or what is it for um I don't know like 13 bitcoins well if you run this it can see one Bitcoin is equal to five hundred twenty seven dollars 13 bitcoins is equal to almost seven thousand dollars so it's a really awesome way of taking a bit of code and being able to reuse it incredibly easy so that is all I have for you guys for functions for right now we're gonna be using them a lot and if they seem confusing right now then don't worry about it because after we make a few more you're gonna become an expert of making them so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later